Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, today we are starting a whole new franchise, and it all starts with uh, 2008's Kung Fu Panda. Now, this Boom. has Jack Black in it, so I'm sure it's going to be incredible. So many of you out there recommended this to us. I have not seen it, uh, so I'm very excited to check out all three, four, however many of them there are. Well, I've, of course, seen the first one. Didn't see the next two there, I believe, are left. But I saw the first one and saw it in theaters. It was amazing. You'll hear some very, very familiar voices. So I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to watch you guys watch this. I have not seen this one. Um, as Mason Quinn had said, it came very highly recommended. I've heard great things about it. And they made three of them, so there's uh, there's got to be something there. So uh, first time watch for me, so I'm excited. Yep. All right, so let's go. Legend tells of a legendary warrior. He traveled the land in search of worthy foes. <laughs> Maybe you should chew on my fist. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fight. Shut the booty! <laughs> Shut the booty! His enemies would go blind from overexposure to pure awesomeness. <laughs> there is no charge for awesomeness <laughs> or attractiveness. They were no match for his bodacity. Bodacity? <laughs> Before had a panda been so feared and so loved. The Furious Five bowed in respect to this great master. We should hang out. But hanging out would have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Get up. You'll be late for work. What? Oh. I thought, Get we, up. I thought we'd do the whole movie with the other animation. Uh, oh, it was all a dream. <laughs> <huh>? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's me trying to do a kip up. <laughs> Is that a voice of our guy? I oh, am. Yeah. Monkey, mantis, green. You're late for work. Coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, it, it is. is the legend himself. <laughs> <laughs> Big trouble in little China. Revenge of the nerds, nerds. part two. Mm -hmm. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Yep. Had a crazy dream. About what? Huh? Noodles. <laughs> Noodles. What else would I be dreaming about? Careful, that soup is sharp. <laughs> Does he put the ninja star in there? My son finally having the noodle dream. You are almost ready to be entrusted secret ingredient of my secret ingredient soup and take over the restaurant. Who took it over from his father who won it from a friend in a game of mahjong? <laughs> <laughs> we are noodle folk. Broth runs through our veins. Didn't you ever, I don't know, Want to do something else? When I was young and crazy, I thought about running away and learning how to make tofu. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> in this world. Service with a smile. <laughs> well done, students. If you were trying to disappoint me. It's Master Ugwe. He wants to see you. You summoned me. Is something wrong? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be here a while? <laughs> I have had a vision. Tai Lung will return. That is impossible. He is in prison. Nothing is impossible. Tai Lung does not leave that prison. Yes, Master Shifu. <laughs> God, I can't pin whose voice that is. I can't either. Let us know in the comments. He'll... Your mind is like this water, my friend. If you allow it to settle, the answer becomes clear. Who is worthy to be trusted with the secret to limitless power? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Master Uwe is choosing the dragon warrior. Today! You've been waiting a thousand years for this. Just take the bowl. Where are you going? You know, I was kind of thinking maybe I... Yeah? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that dream was a sign. Yeah. 
Gosh, the animals in here are just outstanding. His dad is just cracking me up. Jeez. <laughs> That's not going to work. Oh, my God. Just sell noodles at the bottom of the stairs. Yeah. Take those to go. Almost there. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Poe. We'll bring you back a souvenir. I'll bring you back a souvenir. It is an historic day, isn't it, Master Uguay? Whomever I choose will not only bring peace to the valley, but also to you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! No, 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 wait! I'm coming! Open the door! <laughs> <laughs> Citizens of the Valley of Peace! Come on! Viper! Crane! Monkey! Well, it's a good thing they're not the fast five. Peaky Hulk ready for battle! I sense the dragon warrior is among us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Yeah. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? You finally had the noodle dream. I lied. I love Kung Fu! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to work. Master, are, are you pointing at me? Him? What? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait! Who told you to? <laughs> Tired. <laughs> <This> squeal. <laughs> that was just an accident. There are no accidents. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, <laughs> <laughs> so far the geese and the ducks are my favorite. If the panda has not quit by morning, then I will have failed you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I bring a message from Master Shifu. I'll give you a message for your Master Shifu. <laughs> Escape from Chorgum Prison is impossible. <laughs> <laughs> He's shaking it. Behold, Kai Long. Crossbow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I knew there was going to be something with that feather. Uh oh, he's going to use it to pick the locks. Yep. <laughs> been a slight mistake the sacred hall of warriors no way master flying rhino's armor with authentic battle damage <laughs> <laughs> he gets all excited said to be so sharp you can cut yourself just by looking at ow no the legendary urn of whispering warriors <laughs> hello have you finished sightseeing? How do you get five? Master oh. Shifu! Oh. 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 <laughs> so you're the legendary dragon warrior, hmm? Yes, so. Wrong! Huh. You will never be the dragon warrior until you have learned the secret of the dragon scroll. Do you have a ladder or a trampoline or... <laughs> One must first master the highest level of Kung Fu. This ridiculous belly. Hey! <laughs> He's <laughs> kicked on him. He kicked him. You know this hole? Developed by Master Wuxi in the Third Dynasty. The hardest part is cleaning up afterwards. Panda, Ugwe may have picked you. When I'm through with you, I promise you, you're going to wish he hadn't. We're clear. We're so clear. Good. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> we use that for training children. <laughs> Is that Dustin Hoffman? There you go. Ah. Show us what you can do. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I just ate. Um, just hit it. All right. Get ready to feel the thunder. Would you hit it? All right. <laughs> <laughs> A little harder. How's that? Mr. <laughs> 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 Uguay would choose someone who actually knew Kung Fu. Yeah, or could at least touch his toes. You even see his toes. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie Chan? Ah, I thought so. Yeah, an all star lineup for that this. Jet Li for a minute. <laughs> yeah. uh, the Tigress is Lucy Liu. Oh. The crane is David Cross. Yeah. Can't remember the. I went to remember. gotten Lucy Liu or yeah. Cross. No. I can't remember. I haven't uh, seen him in enough stuff. I can't remember uh, oh. Viper though. David Cross. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, uh, hi, you're up. I am now. <laughs> <laughs> Kung Fu stuff is hard work, right? I've had a long and rather disappointing day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a big fan. Oh. And then you just... <laughs> uh, look, you don't belong here. You're right. I don't have a... I, I meant you don't belong here. I mean, in this room. Property of Crane. This <laughs> 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 just standing there. What was that? Seem a little bit awkward. <laughs> Master Tigress, didn't mean to wake you. Just, uh. You don't belong here. You're a disgrace to Kung Fu. We'll be gone by morning. Wow. That was a little harsh. Mm -hmm. Big fan. You have found a sacred peach tree of heavenly wisdom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you eat when you are upset. <laughs> upset? Oh, so why are you upset? I probably sucked more today than anyone in the history of Kung Fu. Man, you should have seen them. They totally hate me. Is <laughs> Shifu ever going to turn me into the Dragon Warrior? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stop it. No claws, no wings, no venom. Maybe I should just quit and go back to making noodles. Quit. Don't quit. You are too concerned with what was and what will be. Yesterday is history, but today is a gift. That is why it is called the present. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what they kept him in. That was like some weird armor or something. <laughs> Pulling those rocks up. Uh oh. I must want cheaper. You're not going anywhere. Oh, I'm just gonna use yeah. it like a ladder. Go this way. Look at that. Oh, it's just raining. raining. <laughs> like bowling. Wow. <laughs> Stop motion here. Oh, the Wilhelm scream. That was a pretty awesome sequence. Yeah. We're dead. So very, very dead. Now! Come on, climbing them when they're falling. Oh, the heartbeat, that's awesome. Give me one now. Yes. <laughs> oh. I'm glad Shifu sent you. Fly back there and tell them the real dragon warrior is coming home. Is that okay with you, Jonathan? Is that who that is? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ian McChain? 
And this is 2008, so he wasn't really mm. that big yet. Panda, wake up! He's quit. Or has he? All we can do is resume our training and trust that in time, true Dragon Warrior will be revealed. What are you doing here? Ha! Hey! You're stuck. <laughs> stuck? Not nah. what? Maybe on three. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Don't mention it. No, really, I appreciate it. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> it takes years to develop one's flexibility to apply it in combat. Put that down. <laughs> Let's get started. Ow. Oh. I'm sorry, brother. I thought you said you were ready. Let's go again. <laughs> I've been taking it easy on you, Panda. Your next opponent will be me. Step forth. <laughs> <laughs> Take his strength and use it against him until he finally quits. But a real warrior never quits. <laughs> He's not going to quit bouncing, tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> this laugh. That's <laughs> when they got the idea for Wick 4. Yeah. I thought you said acupuncture would make me feel better. Trust me, it will. Who am I to judge a warrior based on his size? I mean, look at me. Maybe you should take a look at this again. Oh. Look at the <laughs> He's stretching out for a panda. <laughs> I know Master Shifu's trying to inspire me and all. I'd say he was trying to get rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, he wasn't always like that. According to legend. Before what? Before Tai Lung. We're not really supposed to talk about him. <laughs> <laughs> I know about Tai Lung. He was a student. Then he turned bad and I was in jail. And Shifu found him as a cub and he raised him as a son. Oh. Oh, ouch. Shifu trained him. It was never enough for Tai Lung. He wanted the dragon scroll, but Ugwe saw darkness in his heart. Outraged, Tai Lung laid waste to the valley. <laughs> Getting Anakin Skywalker vibes over yeah. here. And Shifu had to destroy what he had created. Oh, pressure points. Shifu loved Tai Lung like he had never loved anyone before or since. Ouch. Mm. Of course, they give you the big, the big eyes mm. on the animal. Make it look extra cute. And he's stuck. With you, he treats it like a joke. Oh, that is it! Wait, my fault! I accidentally tweaked his facial nerve. <laughs> <laughs> Inner peace. Would whoever is making that flapping sound quiet down? Oh, Zhang. Huh? Uh. Master, master, it's very bad news. There is no good or bad. Your vision was right. That is bad news. <laughs> <laughs> Master, that panda is not the dragon warrior. There are no accidents. Panda will never fulfill his destiny, nor you yours, until you let go of the illusion of control. I cannot make it blossom when it suits me. But there are things we can control. <clears throat> that seed will grow to be a peach tree. But a peach cannot defeat Tai Lung. If you are willing to guide it, Promise me you will believe. I will try. My time has come. Oh, oh, for the, I, were you waiting for Yoda? Do or do or not. There is no try. <laughs> oh, they teased me with that one. Master! You can't leave me. What's he doing? Well, he was giving that speech. That's what I was sensing. It was the end of him. You must believe. What just happened? Yeah. This time has come. It's time. Yeah, but that's not. <laughs> He's giving him everything he can. He mm -hmm. just turned into petals from the tree and 
floated off into the sky. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Hope you like it. This is really good. Wow, you're a really good cook. I wish my mouth was bigger. Hi, Chris. <laughs> 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 You'll never uh, be the dragon warrior unless you lose 500 pounds. Oh my god. <laughs> In brush. Work hard, Panda. And maybe someday. Good. Uh oh, uh oh. Yes. <laughs> it's Shifu. Of course it's Shifu. What do you think I'm doing? Ooh, Master Shifu. Hailong has escaped from prison, and you're acting like children, and you are the only one who can stop him. Master Ugwe will stop him. He, he did it before. He'll do it again. Ugwe cannot. <gasps> <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> I can't even beat you to the stairs. You are the dragon warrior. Ow! You're trying to get rid of me. Yes. <laughs> I was. Now I ask you to trust in your master. You're not my master. Every time you threw a brick at my head, it hurt, but it could never hurt more than it did every day of my life just being me. Oh, shit. Ooh. If anyone could change me, it was you, greatest kung fu teacher in all of China. I can turn you into the dragon warrior. How are you gonna change this? How? I don't know. That's what I thought. Hi, Chris. Oh, she's gonna try to take him on solo. Don't try and stop me. We're not trying to stop you. What? We're coming with you. Interesting. What? What? <laughs> oh, there was a <laughs> lock on the door. <laughs> <laughs> I eat when I'm upset, okay? I just thought you might be monkey. He hides his almond cookies on the top shelf. <laughs> hey, doing the splits. Don't tell monkey. <laughs> How did you get up there? I don't know. I was getting a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Accident. There are no accidents. There are no accidents. <laughs> Can you get a little bit of Rocky <laughs> Four here? That's what it seems like. Could you at least tell me where we're going? Uh, you dragged me for a bath? We do not wash our pits in the pool of sacred tears. <laughs> pool of sacred tears. This is where Uguay unraveled the mysteries. This is the birthplace of Kung Fu. Ah. Do you want to learn Kung Fu? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just put on his shirt. Well, well it's so. fur. <laughs> the way to get through to you is with this. When you have been trained, you may eat. Can't go down all the way. This right. montage. Learning. What? Uh. Look at him go. After you, Panda. Just like that? No, 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 no 10 mile hike? You have been trained. You are free to eat. Hey! <laughs> it's as big as this whole mouth. You are free to eat. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> This is crazy. <laughs> noise. I'm 
I'm not hungry. He's not nervous. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, they have to fight him on a bridge? That doesn't look sketchy at all. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh. Landed a hit. Where's the dragon warrior? I heard how he fell out of the sky on a ball of fire. Oh, that is his name. Poe. Our battle will be legendary. <laughs> Uh, oh. oh, she's hey, hanging in there with him. Help her. Ooh, not so much. Oh. Oh, oh. no, 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 no. Okay. Go. <laughs> 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 Well, looks like they definitely got the upper hand here. Yeah. Uh oh. Ooh. What was oh. that? But he didn't teach you everything. That's the same thing uh, mm -hmm. that he got hit with. Master Ugwe. Done well? Done well. You have done. Ah! Awesome. <laughs> Guys! They're dead! No, they're breathing. We were no match for his nerve attack. Ooh, ah. Tai Long? <laughs> I thought we could stop him. He could have killed you. You can defeat him, Panda. <laughs> Alright, are you kidding? But you will have the one thing that no one else does. Scroll. You can get it. You really believe I'm ready? You are. That was the best the beginning when he was blowing them out one by one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this guy doing some air bending here or what? Well, it wouldn't appear as if they're just going to go down and manually or try to manually climb up and grab it. Uh. Mm. <laughs> Wait. What happens when I read it? No one knows, but legend says you will be able to hear a butterfly's wing beat. Can I punch through walls? Can I can I can I do a quadruple backflip? Focus. Quadruple <laughs> back. <laughs> read it, Paul, and fulfill your destiny. Oh, your destiny. Whoa. It's impossible to open. Thank you. It's blank. What? I am forbidden to look upon. <laughs> Blank. I don't. But who will stop Tai Lung? He'll destroy everything. Evacuate the valley. What about you, Master? I will fight him. He'll kill you. Then I will finally have paid for my mistake. I am very proud to have been your master. Oh, we're losing masters here real quick if that's the case. There's got to be something on that scroll. Maybe to do with the water. Remember he was mm. talking about when it was agitated versus yeah. when it was clear? There's got to be something there. We've got to get them out safely. Crane, by the way. Time to go to work. Mm. Let's go. Look, it's the dragon warrior. Oh! <laughs> I just love that character. I can't get over <laughs> it. His little flappy feet <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> oh, look at <laughs> <laughs> Gave him his apron, apron right away. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for our next shop, it's time to face it. We'll have a kitchen you can actually stand up in. He's got to stay. Yeah. I I'm sorry things didn't work out. This wasn't meant to be. Your destiny still awaits. Broth runs deep through our veins. Sometimes I can't believe I'm actually your son. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time I told you something I should have told you. <laughs> <laughs> Secret
secret ingredient of my secret ingredient soup. Nothing. Huh? There is no secret ingredient. You don't add some kind of special sauce or something? To make something special, you just have to believe it's special. There we go. It's a reflection of him. It's no secret. No, it was just him. This is no longer your home, and I am no longer your master. So where is this? Oh, this battle is between you and me. That is how it's going to be. That is how it must be. That's how it's going to be. That's just like how he says it in Wick. <laughs> Twenty years because of your weakness. Obeying your master is not weakness. You were not meant to be the dragon warrior. That was not my fault. Did no. I be my destiny? Oh. Yeah. Is that the sword from like Final Fantasy or something? <laughs> it looked, looked like, it. like it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Me, the scroll. We had to die. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Look at that. Tell me how proud you are, Chief Wolf. Tell me! God, he is worked mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. I, I have always been proud of you. And it was my pride that blinded me. I loved you too much to see what you were becoming. I'm s I'm sorry. I don't want your apology. Where is it? Oh. You will never see that scroll. That I belong. Uh oh. oh. Hey! <laughs> Who are you, buddy? He's a panda. You're a panda. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna use this. Ha ha! Oh! <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> oh, the old oh, fireworks. The fireworks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it turned it into a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> I have finally. <laughs> it's okay. I didn't get it the first time either. There is no secret ingredient. It's just you. Oh. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, I'm gonna pee. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it? Why does it not work on him? Oh! 
show is fucking geeks. <laughs> it's like a wily coyote. You're just a big fat panda. I'm not a big fat panda. I'm the big fat panda. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, big. It's got him in the hold. <laughs> <laughs> she who didn't teach you that figured it out. Skadoosh. <laughs> Come on. Warrior. <laughs> oh, he's gonna have the whole get up. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Pull it off. Oh, they can't even pick him up. <laughs> that big, lovely kung fu warrior is my son. Thanks, Dad. Hey, guys. Master. Ah, a little bit of respect for our guy. Master. Master Shifu. <laughs> he's already he's like, he just started. I mean, he just had that epic battle, but now he's like yeah. holding his back. Master. Oh, you're alive. Or we're both dead. <laughs> <laughs> it is as Ugwe foretold. You are the dragon warrior. You have brought peace to this valley and to me. Thank you. Oh, no. 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 No, 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 no. Please! I'm not dying, you idiot! <laughs> <laughs> Got us! Ah. I'm simply... Uh, yeah, so I was waiting to see if he was going to do the dad thing, so he's resting his eyes. <laughs> Just rest in my eyes. So, um, I should stop talking? If you can. <laughs> if you can. <laughs> <laughs> he was thinking about it. He was thinking about it. You want to get something to eat? Yeah. <laughs> Dumplings. Yeah. That was it. Hey. yeah. <laughs> All oh, that's that. where he planted the uh, the peach. Nice. Man, did that not disappoint. Yeah. I'm, I'm so excited to get right into this because I really want to hear what you guys thought as well. But uh, just off the start, I can't believe this is from 2008 because mm -hmm. that animation was some of the best I've seen of that style. Now, I'm not going to put like Spider-Man and Into the Spider-Verse, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. you know, like at that level because it's so different but that was some of the best i've seen the slow motion the sound effects the musical score everything they did was just outstanding and of course jack black in his role was incredible the supporting cast was like well, let's just get a bunch of legends for it and mm -hmm. see how that goes so that was incredible to see um I did like, you know, how they had with the, the two different masters and, you know, the one wasn't so sure. Like, who's this guy? This panda's going to pull it off. But, you know, <laughs> they were just, wow, look at that. Whoa, we just saw the box office for it. <laughs> the budget was $130 million and it made 631.7. So safe to say a lot of you out there really loved it. And I thoroughly enjoyed this as well. You know, there was a little bit, and we've heard uh, actually some comedians that we've talked to uh, before where they kind of talk because I always ask you know how do comedians do so well in dramatic roles and the answer I always get is well it's a little bit of like the the whole sad clown type thing and I, that's the kind of vibe that I got from Poe right away when he talked about you know wanting to be somebody else and not liking who he was and that sort of thing and he wanted to change so I thought that was really interesting how they tied that in because we were having a good time. It was, you know, crazy animation and, and sound effects and music and everything was so cool. And then they kind of dropped that on us where, you know, Poe wasn't the, the happy-go-lucky guy we always thought he was. He did have a lot of self-doubt and that kind of mm -hmm. came around and his master certainly helped him with that. And just had to find the right motivation as uh, we've seen in a, in a number of uh, movies that we've watched lately. It's the it's the method of the teaching that that can help the help a lot of the students. So I really enjoyed that. And I, guys, I'm blown away by this one. I mean, I, I can only imagine where it goes with two and three. Yeah. 
because in the very beginning, I you know they they had that style of animation in his dream, <laughs> like oh this will be cool if the whole thing is like that. And then when they opened up with um, with Master Shifu, and I was just like stunned at the attention to detail in the animation and just how good it was. I was like wow, I'm really in for a treat with this one because like I said, 2008 they pulled this off. I'm huh? shocked that they were able to do that. Well, I'm sure it took a little while to, you know, to get this one going. But, yeah, this was so much fun to watch. I mean, Jack Black is obviously just amazing in it. I mean, and then Dustin Hoffman as, as Master <laughs> Shifu and, like, Randall Duke Kim. Like, oh, they don't have a picture of him. But I thought it was really great storytelling, like the – the common, you know, the common man becoming the master and like the most unlikely person it should be. But we saw that he had grand dreams. He wanted to be something more than what he was. And he worked hard for it. I mean, even right away, they're like, they're, he's not going to last through the morning. And he got up early to do yep. it because he knew that nobody wanted him there. And, you know, even at first, like, he was like, I know you don't want me here. He was like, yeah, I'm going to be your master. He's like, you, I don't even want to be me. So, like, he, he he was just trying to be something more than what he wasn't, even though he knew he at first, you know, he had no business being the grand master. He, he thought it was, you know, wrong. It was obviously a mistake, an accident. As we found out, mm. there is no accidents. There is, <laughs> there is, no there is none. But yeah. it's just fun. The animation is fun. The mix of humor because it it really incorporated Jack Black's humor, especially at the end. Skadoosh, you know him with all the words that he loves to say throughout his history of Tenacious D and any and every movie he's in. He, like I, you guys especially love Saving Silverman. How he's in that as I well. I never saw that one. Oh, oh you haven't seen that one. Uh, his his big breakout for me was uh, the Goosebumps movie. <laughs> <laughs> Saving oh Silverman my God! You didn't even see American. Cable Guy. He was in Cable Guy. Oh, I didn't guy. see Cable okay. Guy either. No. But uh, it, the the whole cast was and, and like I didn't even realize though that. Dan Fogler was yeah, in there. Yeah, that's our guy. And he, he was he, Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts. Yeah, he was uh he was our he was our messenger uh yeah. the goose and I, I love the geese. I got to get this yeah. out of the way right yeah, right just, away. I absolutely loved the geese characters the way their feet were flapping on the concrete and like that attention to detail. They were so comedic and so great. He was a Chinese <laughs> goose and there's the picture of it. So <laughs> Just like I said, I saw it in the theater and enjoyed it so much then. And every time I'd been on TV, I had sit and watch and like, God, this is this is so much fun to watch. Especially, I always love the ending where like they're laying on the ground and he's just sitting there. <laughs> and then it. finally goes, you want to get something to eat? Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> like he broke the walls down of how, of how you know, Master Shifu's character was. So, yeah, I, I absolutely loved it. This was great. Yeah, this was a lot of fun for me. And it, for the most part, it was very lighthearted. You know, we mm -hmm. watched uh, a handful of the Disney and Pixar movies. And, and honestly, so many of them have just been so good off. Mm -hmm. You know, tangled, but both of those are like tear jerkers. You know, mm -hmm. um, had their moments. Yeah. Relatively recently, we watched all three How to Train Your Dragons, which were absolutely uh, incredible. Uh, but this was a lot of fun, and it felt a little more lighthearted than some mm -hmm. of the stuff that we've done. So, um, but it, it was it was a lot of fun. They they just really nailed it with the voice acting, and I think that's one of the things that that a lot of these movies have in common is they always seem to get just the perfect <laughs> yeah and then when you they just and, work and, you know and as adults you know when you're watching it you know that's part of the fun is we mm -hmm. oh i know that voice i know yeah. that voice <laughs> and then when it hits it's part of it's fun you know it's 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 part of the the entertainment value and then you kind of think about the other works that you've seen them in and things like that um but yeah this one this one was a lot of fun i mean uh, the, the 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 animation on this was was pretty wild for 2008. Yeah. You know, and I know Insane. it's like, look, it's 2008, still not ancient or anything, but we're still talking 15 years. Ago, yeah, and the animation was really incredible. They did a good job with the artwork. Um, you know, the 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 creatures were all very, uh, or the, the the animals were all very lovable. Especially, yeah. I, I I agree with Mason Quinn. The geese were great. Yeah. Um, James Hong is just, I, I, he's just such an incredible addition to all these movies as uh, as a voice actor, and we've seen him in so much stuff. Yeah. He made a and, small, or he made a quick appearance in Avatar for yeah, us, and yeah, then he was in Avatar. I mean, he's just, you know, he his voice just brings so much to it, and he's such a legend. 
that it's so great to see that they add him in to to these. I, I you know, I, I don't recall what year he um, he passed, didn't he? Yeah, but I think it was relatively recently. I thought he did. Well, it's it's interesting you bring that up. Not to uh, sidetrack here, but the thing I like when they have these really famous characters. Oh, he. he is you you start to alive. see them in the animated characters that they're playing? Oh yeah, so he's, he's ninety four. Oh, he's still so here. He was just in everything, he's everywhere, all at once. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he was. So for some yep. reason, I thought he had passed after that, but um, yeah, he was amazing in yeah. everything, everywhere, all at once. But he seems like he's been he's ninety four now, but it seems like he's been ninety four for like for thirty forever. years. Yeah, he hasn't <laughs> aged, you know. So, it's like he, but that was a lot yeah. of fun. Look, it was it was a really great storyline too. The the kind of the unsung hero. Um, you know, I, I I really liked the line that his dad, you were waiting for him to tell him that he wasn't the dad. Yeah. It's something I got to tell you. And he told him to make something special. You just have to believe that it's special. And I, I really thought that's a, that's a powerful line. This this was like, it was encouraging. It wasn't like the really like deep, meaningful mm-hmm. message yeah. that I think we've gotten in some of the other stories. But it, it's like, it's it's similar to a lot of the... The movies that we watched look in in uh, how to train your dragon hiccup was very much the unsung hero yep. he wasn't supposed to be the big strong guy he came in um in uh in up what was it what was the little guy's name was it not ralph uh, i forget oh, the little guy's, yeah, the little yeah, guy's name and up you know the little crazy boy scout he turned out to be the brave one who's like i'm gonna go do this mm-hmm. you know and uh he had and, to get his badge and, yeah he wanted to get his badge and so many times we see that so it wasn't you know the, the you know the, the most unique story um but it was it was very likable and it was a lot of fun and i think that's a really strong message i think you know there's there's so many people out there who you know you you watch whether it's TV or movies or social media and I'm not just blaming social media look because everybody's like well we compare lives to social media all the time which is true and there's issues there but pe- kids have been per- you know comparing themselves to Hollywood stars and TV actors forever forever I want to be this I want to yeah. be that and um, but I think those are really powerful messages that like you 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 know and it, it, and, it, and sometimes it can come across like a little bit like cliche and like over you know kind of overly thrown out there but there's so much to be said about believing in yourself Mm -hmm. and having other people that believe in you as well and and i think that's a really important message to put out there especially for movies that while they're enjoyable for adults as well i think they're they're targeted towards kids and um and i think the also the other you know message of there's not any accidents. You're here for a reason. You have purpose. I think that was really important too. And I think all in all, the movie just kind of preached this message that, you know, that even if you don't necessarily see it in yourself, there's a lot of people out there who are destined for great things. And that's the storyline. And I, I know, did you guys like, I I felt like it was so much fun, but it was lighthearted. And we've watched something yeah, that was. felt really heavy. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and this just had a little bit different vibe, a little bit more, I think it was, in some ways, I think almost more enjoyable because it was just lighthearted the whole way. Did you guys get that? Yeah, that's yeah. kind of the route that I was thinking because I'm still bothered by How to Train Your Dragon 2, the way the dad got taken out. That's yeah. I'm still bothered by that. <laughs> it was, and it was heavy, just, right? Yeah, yeah, and it was just, it was. I don't want to say refreshing, but it was just nice to watch a movie where you could, you're going to go in, have fun, they were going to have a message, but they didn't have to beat mm-hmm. you over the head with it and make the whole movie about that message. They could just kind of let the actors do what they're very talented at and that is Jack Black being comedic obviously they had outstanding writers and animators but they could just set the scene for something you could go have fun at because like look how as good as how to train your dragon part two was and I gave it an incredibly high rating it's one that you're not just gonna like pop in and have a good time this you're gonna you can watch and and have a good time with it i almost feel like you kind of need to prepare for something when it's that heavy if that makes sense yeah. well, okay well there were pretty ma- a lot of messages in this one there was a lot of like trials and tribulations with like you know with pole obviously overcoming him uh, master having to overcome he has to be a master to a different kind of warrior instead of what he's accustomed to he had to change his ways and then obviously that hey appearances and everything so then even the the fierce the furious five they had to <laughs> willing to accept yeah i was about to say it i was about to say it and they had to be willing to accept him as their master you know so they it, it had a lot of strong positive messages yeah. throughout you know and what i thought was interesting too is i thought some of the group and i'm glad you brought up the furious five answer is because there was people in that group that 
just accepted him right away. Mm -hmm. And you you kind of felt like right away, like, okay, the Tigress was kind of like, she thought she was going to be the Dragon Warrior. Mm -hmm. She didn't accept him. But, um, you know, Mantis um, did. But um, the Master Mantis kind of accepted him. A Master Viper was kind of yep. like, okay. Master Crane was like, you shouldn't be here. No, <laughs> it's, just for, my, yeah. it's just my room. So yeah. he was kind of indifferent. So I thought it was neat and kind of a twist that... Some of the people in the group were like, yeah, okay, well, you know, we'll, we'll go with it. You know, and I think that's it's a good lesson as far as acceptance, you know, just because, you know, somebody doesn't look like what you think they're supposed to look like doesn't mean that, you know, you can't give them a chance. Yeah. Well, and, and isn't Jack Black a perfect example of, of that? Like, okay, we all know what Jack Black looks like in his stature. Does he look like your typical Hollywood leading man? I mean, is he going to give a young Harrison Ford or Brad Pitt a run for his money? No, absolutely not. But his talents and his skills with what he can do makes it that much more he enjoyable. He shred a hell of a guitar. Incredible. Everybody loves the guy. And everybody, everybody loves, loves the guy. guy. Everybody, you know? so, everybody man, loves him. Yeah, yeah this, was, this, this was a this fun one. Loves. Yeah. Yeah, that one's his. That one's that one. We're all over oh, my place. God. Uh, there's one way. Yeah. It's over here in... Michigan. Yeah. yeah. But I'm glad you, one thing that I did yeah. want to touch before we I give our scores, I'm glad you brought up the idea of this is one you can pop in and enjoy. I love the movie Up, and man, it hit hard, like on a personal level. I don't know that, it, like, on a Saturday afternoon, I'd be like, oh, let's watch Up. I mean, <laughs> it's so fun, and I, you want people to watch yeah. it. Like, this is a show you have to watch for the lessons, mm -hmm. but it's so heavy, you know, and like, even like we watched Tangled, like, you know, as a parent, you know, when they were talking about every year on the anniversary of their daughter going missing, and I'm like over here, like almost losing my shit, you know, because I'm like mm -hmm. trying to picture myself. And so there's heavy moments where sometimes you're just like, I don't know if I'm ready to like, yeah, I, just I don't know if I'm fun. ready to get hit like <laughs> yeah, that yeah. emotionally. I just want something fun. And this felt like that. Yeah, absolutely. So, so with all that being said, um, I gave it a 4.9 out of five answers. The only reason it didn't get a perfect score is because there's two more movies to go. And I got to oh, believe that there's, there's going to be, be a, build up? a level of not improvement, but I think they will be probably superior well, in some way. So. I think it is a five and hopefully, Hopefully it doesn't go anywhere downhill from here. So I hope it it stays that way. Yeah. Hopefully it stays that way. And I am going with a 4.75. Look, there's some of these animated movies, and if you haven't seen our reactions on the other ones, please take a chance to watch Up, The How to Train Your Dragons, and Tangled, and, Tangled. Yep. and Wally, -E, which this Wall -E. is what Wall -E. lost the Oscar to for best animated film. Yeah, Wally. -E, um, you know, I mean, some of these movies. But I'm telling you, some of these these animated series hit me really, really hard, like, you know, borderline tears or, you know, choked up or just really like, oh, inspired me to where it was like five, five, five. I had a lot of fun with this one. I really enjoyed it. 4.75. Not quite a five for me, but as we know, we got two more right, coming. Two and more. Those are very really highly recommended as well. Oh, so and I'm of course, really, didn't really excited. Uh, looks like Hans Zimmer was on this one. Of course, Hans Zimmer. Of course, Hans, <laughs> Hans yeah. Zimmer. Yeah. I read that wrong. No, Hans That's Zimmer. Hans Zimmer, oh, best music yeah. and animated feature pro projection. Oh, there we go. Production. Of projection. All right. Well, there you have it. <laughs> So far, this was a lot of fun. We got one down. We got two more to go for Kung Fu Panda. So for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. Good night, pals, and we'll catch you on the next one when we're Kung Fu fighting.